Clinton, given the situation in Iraq, do you think that we're better off without Saddam Hussein in power? Look, I know that there have been a lot of questions about Iraq uh, posed to candidates uh, over the last weeks. I've made it very clear that uh, I made a mistake, plain and simple. And I have uh, written about it in my book. I've talked about it in the past. And, you know, what we now see is a very different and very dangerous situation. The United States uh, is doing what it can, but ultimately this has to be uh, a struggle that uh, the Iraqi government and the Iraqi people uh, are determined to win for themselves. And we can provide support, but they're going to have to do it. Secretary Clinton, Secretary Clinton. On, on, your income, on your income disclosure uh, mm -hmm. recently that just came out on Friday, you are in the tip-top echelon of earners in this country. How do you expect everyday Americans to relate to you? Well, obviously, Bill and I have been blessed, um, and uh, we're very grateful for the opportunities that we had, uh, but we've never forgotten where we came from, and we've never forgotten the kind of country that we want to uh, see for our granddaughter, and that means that we're going to fight uh, to make sure that everybody has the same chances to live up to his or her own God-given potential. Um, so I think that most Americans uh, understand that uh, the deck is stacked for those at the top, and I am running a campaign that is very clearly stacked stating we want to reshuffle that deck. We want to get back to having more opportunities for more people so that they can make more out of their own lives. And I think that's exactly what America is looking for. Secretary, Secretary, Clinton, Secretary, Clinton, Secretary Clinton, Clinton, you Clinton, 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 can you explain your relationship as Secretary of State with uh, Sidney Blumenthal? There was a report out this morning that you've exchanged several emails. And should Americans expect that if elected president, you would have that same type of relationship with these old friends that you've had for so long? <laughs> I have many, many old friends friends and uh, I always think that uh, uh, it's important when you get into politics to have friends you had before you were in politics and to understand uh, what's on their minds and he's been a friend of mine for a long time he sent me unsolicited uh, emails which I uh, passed on in some instances uh, and I see uh, that that's just part of the give and take when you're in when you're in the public eye and when you're in an official position, I think you do have to work to make sure you're not caught in a bubble and you only hear from a certain small group of people. And I'm going to keep talking to my old friends, uh, whoever they are. But did you know that he had a Secretary, 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 Secretary Clinton, Secretary Clinton, Secretary Clinton, Secretary Clinton, Secretary Clinton. today that the State Department might not release your emails until January of 2016. A federal judge says they should be released sooner. Will you demand that they are released sooner? And to follow up on the questions about the speeches, was there a conflict of interest in your giving paid speeches into the run-up of your announcement that you're running for president? The answer to the second is no. And the answer to the first is I have said repeatedly I want those emails out. Nobody has uh, a bigger interest in getting them released than I do. I respect the State Department. They have their process that they do for everybody, not just for me. But anything that they might do to expedite that process, I heartily support. You know, I want the American people to learn as much as uh, we can about the work that I did with uh, our diplomats and our development experts, because I think it will show how hard we worked and what we did um, for our country during the time that I was Secretary of State, where I worked extremely hard on behalf of our values and our interests and our security. Um, and the emails are part of that. So. I have said publicly, I'm repeating it here in front of all of you today, I want them out as soon as they can get out. Well, you, but will you um, demand it? Will you well, demand I, it? Well, it's, they're not mine. They belong to the State Department. So the State Department has to go through its process, but as much as they can expedite that process, that's what I'm asking them to do. Please move as quickly as they possibly can to get them out. Thank you.